Ironically, everyone, including new senators, referred to the allegedly elected tribal officials as leaders. Leaders are supposed to work for a better quality of life for their constituents. It is an insult to my heritage, my ancestors, and my dignity as an Oglala Lakota to have the term used loosely. Many of the tribal officials are honest and sincere men and women who have good hearts. Nevertheless, a vast majority of the tribal officials parasite on the incestuous world of tribal politics. Not as our forefathers, who were the best providers, protectors, defenders, advocators, and friends. The game of who is the most important rules. It's embarrassing. At the turn of the century, American Indians numbered about 230,000, all traditional. With each succeeding generation, we lose our population base and our spirit as once proud peoples. The American Indian statistics of deprivation have remained constant since the end of World War II. All other groups of citizens, fortunes rise and fall with the gross national product, the, the GMP. The American Indian statistical lines of deprivation remains constant, a straight line. With the blatant genocide of our traditional people, we have less than 50,000 in America today. We are averaging a loss of 1,000 a year since 1900. We are losing a value system as distinct people that sets us apart from the industrialized world. These facts surface in our tribal statistics, and no one attempts to do anything about it except for a few social workers and reservation police. This new statistical horror is women and child abuse. Child sexual abuse is epidemic on Indian reservations, and all you hear are whispers. This abuse can be directly attributable, attributable to the schools on the reservations. Education in the BIA, public, the contract, and missionary schools do not teach positive values from non-Indian culture, and in collusion with the BIA, certainly do not allow Indian culture and values to be taught. The fact is, educators continually denigrate American Indian traditional lifestyle as primitive, dirty, and without any redeemable virtues. And the tribal councils condone it. 